Greetings, Kerbinauts. This is Cripple Space Program. I'm Bob Fitch, and this is AMA number nine. Today's AMA is a question I keep getting since people are watching Project Alexandria and seeing that I've been making textures for the outside of my rockets, and they're like, how do you make those textures? I keep on saying it's really, really easy. It's like, it's so easy you're going to slap yourself in the forehead and go, why didn't I figure that out? You can do this in about one minute. Let's go take a look. Let's begin with looking for something that we want to make a replica of. Suppose we want a Delta Heavy rocket. We'll go grab images, find something that looks interesting, and then I'm going to screen capture this. Now I'll just load that up into Microsoft Paint. Go down and let's see, we'll grab that and crop it. We'll load that up into Microsoft Paint here grab a little segment about yay big right there crop that down and now we'll zoom in a little on this and see how it's doing it looks like we have a little bit of a line right up there that i'm not going to want so i'm going to grab that line off just like that we're going to crop that again there now i have a little dark line here dark line there and that's it. Now this isn't necessarily going to look super pretty, but we could already try looking at this in the VAB. So I'll save this off and then we'll make a config file that we can use. All right, now if you're using the procedural tanks mod, you're going to have a file that has a thing in it called stretchy tank textures. I'm going to create a new section in mine that's going to have my delta. So I'll grab that, do this, give it a name. Go down here. I have the file right there called Delta. So I'll call it Delta. I only want to stretch it one time. And that's it. Save that off. And now we'll go load up the game and see how this looks. Now, here in the VAB, we go over to the procedural parts and we pull in one of these tanks. Don't worry about the fix my stats thing. You won't see that. That's only because this is in my real solar system installation. Now we right click on that and we drag this up to somewhere in here. We're going to find our delta. There it is. We created the delta section. You could see it right there. Texture delta. Now if we just appropriately size this thing. We have a very crude heavy delta core booster. We spent about five seconds making that. So if we were to spend a little bit more time on the texture, I'm sure we could get it to look much prettier than this. But you can see that was actually not too hard for a first start. And it's as simple as that. Until next time, I will see you later, Kerbinauts.